Well, hello YouTube friends. Uh, today we are going to do uh, an oil change right before winter. Uh, this riding season has come to a very quick and rapid uh, end, it seems right now, with the temperatures dropping and falling down to close to zero during the days and below zero at night. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do an oil change, we're going to clean up the bike and um, uh, put it away, put her away for winter very soon. Uh, but anyway, the first step is to change the oil. And I can't remember if I've done a video on that, so I thought that's what we'll do today. And um, so the first thing we got to do is we want to take the bike out and warm up the engine so the, end, the oil is nice and uh, fluidy and it'll just run out and we'll uh, it'll drain faster and drain probably more completely. So let's get on with it and warm that engine up because it's only five degrees outside. That one's on. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> There it goes. Okay, I'm fogging up. Got to move. That one of the things of riding in the cold, keeping your visor from fogging up. I took the cameras out because I want you to see how it looks like it's ready to snow. <laughs> Those are kind of dark clouds. We'll just take the bike around the block and that'll bring that temperature up a little bit. There you can see, I don't know if you can see one bar. It's not going to warm up quite as fast in the cold. Two bars. We got three bars. Now I'm not saying that three bars is warmed up, all warmed up, but it'll get the oil moving a lot better. Go around the block one more time. There, see those clouds? Wow. They even look cold. <laughs> oh, I see some drops on my helmet. There's a couple raindrops. Anyway, this will be warm enough. There we go. Should be nicely warmed up now. Warmed up enough to do the oil change. Close the door, keep some heat in here. Turn some heat on. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is Get that bike up vertical. Much rather work on the bike when it's standing up. Okay, so you can see this dirty old thing here. That's the oil filter, and this is the drain plug here to drain the oil. And right here is our dipstick to check the oil. Up on top of here, this is where we're going to put the new oil in. I have this old filter wrench. It doesn't fit quite perfect, but it grabs it good enough. Uh, old filter wrench, and I have a... This one takes a 17 millimeter socket. And I also have a little strong arm. And we have an 8 millimeter hex to take the drain plug out. And we have a 
Triumph brand new oil filter. And we have three and one quarter jugs of castor oil power one SAE 10W50 4T. And the big thing to know, this is fully synthetic. It's fully synthetic and it has the JSO MA2 thing on it if you go about getting a different brand of oil. Anyway, this is the oil that um, Triumph recommends and I can't get the 10W40 in Canada. Okay, so the other thing I forgot to mention is you will want a nice pail to catch the oil in. Yeah, let's start with this guy. Hopefully there. There we go. Now that oil looks a little bit dirty. It's got about 10,000 kilometers on it, as recommended, but um, it does look very dirty. And let's get this on. This will get everything draining. Okay, you'll notice that's very close to the headings, eh? Okay, I'm going to use an extension on that. Wouldn't want anything bad to happen to my pipes. And it's always handy to, with an oil filter, it's got a rubber seal on it. So if you just put pressure on it and hold it, don't make it come off too fast, then you won't fight it. There she goes. Don't drop it or you will have quite a bath in oil. Okay, we'll let that drain for a little while. Uh, I'm gonna go open the filler on the other side just in case it breathes better. Okay, so that seems like that's just about stopped dripping. So we're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna wipe this surface here dry where the new oil filter is going to meet and we'll wipe where the plug, the drain plug comes out. Speaking of which, there's the washer. Just about knocked it into the oil. So we'll clean that washer up. I'm going to use this washer a couple times and then I'll get a new one. I think the manual probably says to replace it every time. Clean up the oil plug, put the washer back on, put the clean side towards the bike it looks like. Give this another wipe. I like to start them by hand. Absolutely make sure that we don't cross thread anything. That would be bad news. And we'll put on our new oil filter. I know some people pre-fill their oil filters. Where is it? Get it in the lens. Some people pre-fill them. I, I never have. That's kind of messy. I use just a little bit of oil, even the old oil, to wet. Can we see? To wet with oil this rubber seal. Just so it turns nice.
Nice to have a little spotlight of sun coming in through the window there. Okay, and then carefully push that out of the way. And let's tighten this guy a little bit. I think there might be a torque. I'll see if I can find it. But I was always taught you just put these things on by hand. Just hand tight. A little more maybe pencil strong you are. There we go. And to dispose of the oil, we're going to pour it back into the, with a funnel into the little jugs they come out of. I'll find the torque for it, but for now, I just want to make sure it's tight. I should use a ratchet here. A ratchet would be easier at this point. I'm just going to do it like so. I got to check the actual torque specification for that. All right. Let's go to the other side and add some oil. Okay, so um, what we need is we need three and one quarter of these basically. So if you see the marks on the side here, there's three quarter. Looks like I used just a shy, shy more. But we're going to use one more quarter of this one and we're going to use three. Now these are quarts, not liters. And so that makes a difference. If you're talking liters, liters are bigger than American quarts. Sorry, I should have said American quarts. Okay, so we're going to take a crack at what does a quarter look like. more. Okay, now I'm going to save that one. This will be all my quarter. Okay, in case you're wondering, this nice little filter here, it just fits so well. I just tuck it in there and almost give it a bit of a turn and it stays very nice. Wouldn't want to lose any of that precious gold we put in there. Okay, that's the first liter. We're gonna save these. We'll save these guys for putting in the old oil, which we can recycle. Leave it time to go down. Don't want to waste this stuff at 20 bucks a quart. And if you're ever getting curious, you can always pull the dipstick out and see if you've got any, any level on it, which we don't. Because last time I did the oil, which was the first oil change, uh, like the uh, break-in oil change, and I paid close attention to how much oil I put in. Should be very similar this time. Okay, here's number three. Whoa. A funnel with a, lo a longer, narrower thing might be better, but this one works pretty good. And there's also funnels that have measuring lines on them. 
and you can and they're much bigger and then you can fill it with exactly so many um, quarts or milliliters so I'm gonna go in faith that this can be the same as last time and I'm going to just pour the oil in so when I'm counting how many liters I'm putting in then please remember that we change the oil filter as well as the oil and we're gonna pull the drain plug not the drain plug the dipstick oh it's looking good it's right up at the top but we have to remember we haven't run the engine yet and so the oil filter is empty right now I wouldn't run it without the caps on otherwise it squirts out there we go so we're just gonna give it a little run so we're gonna start the bike let's put it in neutral not a bad idea okay so you're gonna see that oil light's gonna be on just for a second extra Okay, I'm going to shut it off. Normally I would leave that running, but it's not something you normally see, the low oil pressure, but that's just, it's got to circulate all the oil we just drained out back into the engine. So that's normal, a little scary, but normal. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the oil again, because I'm paranoid. Okay, so pull the dipstick. This is just to be extra precaution. Put it in all the way to the bottom for a check. And you'll notice that it's up on the stand. It's not on its wheels. Okay, so it's on the bottom line. So just check it and make sure you have enough oil and then we're going to warm the engine up with the dipstick in. Okay, so um, I just added a little bit more oil because if you remember this was a little bit below the uh, three quarter quart so now we're about more halfway because it's a little bit more plus a little bit more because this was more. <laughs> so anyway right now we are about halfway on the dipstick between the two lines and we're going to leave it at like that for now until we get the back tire on the ground and see if that changes. If that changes the level, we see. It's just a little harder to do by yourself. Now I know to be the way it's transferred onto me and not the stand. <laughs> okay, so now check the oil like this so I'm going to take the dipstick out give it a clean and then I have to tip the bike towards me so it's kind of balanced thread that sucker in back out I can probably already be weaning it and that takes us up to like about seven eighths of the way up between the two lines. So that's perfect. 
just a shy short of the top line. Because you don't want too much oil either. Try and do this without making it too big of a mess. There, anyway, you will get the idea. <laughs> so, thanks for watching this video. That's about changing the oil. I still got a torque. I still have to torque the drain plug. So, as promised, I checked the um, torque spec on the drain plug. It's 25 Newton meters, and that works out to 18 foot pounds. And so, I always start low, so I started at 10 just to get a feel for it. Okay, so then you just, um, you just turn, it's still tightening. There, see I have support this end, especially with the, with the long bar on there. Support that end, and push with this one and you hear it click. That's 15, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Feels pretty tight. Okay, so I should add that uh, also, that uh, it's spitting outside, so I'm not gonna go right now. But it's prudent to, when you have all the oil checked, topped up, you're sure of all the levels, you warmed it up, right, checked it again, um, to take the bike for a ride and look to make sure there are no leaks around your oil filter or the drain plug. Uh, so this is step one in getting the bike ready for winter in our North American cool climate. We've got to park our bikes for three, four months out of the year. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned as we continue getting the bike ready for storage.